his performance today? Um, it's what it's what we've been talking about, honestly. So more football left. Uh, first first third of the season is over at the game four. So we're moving on to the second and the third half of the uh, yeah the season. Like you said, more football left. But what's been the biggest thing or biggest improvement you've seen from week one and now? Um, <clears throat> staying loyal to each other. Um, especially like when we're down or game is close. Uh, just don't flinch, don't blink. And uh, we made a lot of adjustments at practice. Uh, it's been foot on the gas. Uh, Coach Dice been doing a great job with that. Just pushing us, pushing us, pushing us. And just knowing that we can, if we practice the way we practice, we're going to get the result we want. And the reason we've been coming out on top the last couple of weeks were because of the way we practice. So it always comes back down to practice details, trusting in each other when we out there on the field communicating. Or trusting in our coaches with the game plan, believing it, because every every offensive player designed to score, and every defense is designed to give up no yards. But it don't go like that because it's football, and it's how it is. Walk us through that interception you had. Uh, <clears throat> we were in the uh, one free man to man. Uh, he actually beat me, but he ended up running a dig, and I undercut it. Pick. After every big defensive play, you guys do this. Where does this come from? Man, the D line, the D line made it up, so I can't kill it. It's, bro, I don't even know. They brought, they, they made it up, and let, and you seen me last week. I'm, I'm going with it, like. But as a leader, though, it's, that's energy, and as a leader, you could easily be like, hey, 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 we gotta figure out something else. But at the end of the day, I'm not the only one that's out there playing. So if that's getting Getting them boys fired up. Well, I got to jump in right with them. I can't kill the energy. So I love it, bro. We got to keep it going. Maybe some other people start trying to steal what we do. Uh, you, got, you got Namdi shifting down to linebacker this offseason. How have you seen him grow in the first four games of the year? Uh, it's, been, it's been fun to watch, honestly. Uh, he's still growing. Uh, he's taking coaching well. He's trying to get do stuff right. And that's the only thing you can ask for and just as far as mm, meeting your coach halfway. It's 50-50. You help me, I help you. And all of his mis- all the I always tell the guys, all the mistakes are the coaches. Pin your ears back and play. And that's what he's been doing. All his um lessons that he learned, he took them on the chin. And that's the only only thing you can do as a as a player and as a man too. You guys have been completely dominant in the third quarter the last two games. Mm-hmm. What's what's the big thing you guys talk about at halftime to, to let you all play that way? Um, it's really all the things you've been hearing too, like finish, the game not over, zero to zero, mash the gas, keep your foot down on their throat. Like it's all the same sands, bro. At the end of the day, it's about what we do with the sand. It is gonna enhance us or it's gonna hurt us. So last couple of weeks has been enhancing us, so I keep going back to work. After your interception, you took a real shot on that return. Do you, you know, did you see that coming? Yeah, I seen I seen it out the corner of my eye. That's why. I, and then he should have wrapped up. Thank y'all. Thank y'all.